Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So first and foremost, I want to apologize for basically just disappearing the past couple of weeks. The last video that I had uploaded was my July knitting update. And today I'm doing my mid August knitting update with zero videos in between. And I didn't update you on where I was or anything. So I wanted to just apologize for that. There has just been a lot of life stuff that's been going on. So my son, Charlie, he recently turned two and there are a lot of days now that he decides that he doesn't want to take a nap and nap time is basically basically when I get all of my stuff done. So yeah, that's been a little challenging. And then my daughter is starting preschool. So we're kind of gearing up for that. I've got some organizations that have required a lot of um, additional attention recently. I'm training for a half marathon, just a ton of life stuff that's all really exciting, but it has made it challenging to keep up with my goal of three videos a week. So it'll be a little touching go here for a bit, but hopefully we can get back on some sort of schedule. As of right now, I will just kind of film when I can. So I, I have no schedule for you guys and I'm sorry about that, but that's just kind of how it's going to have to go for a little while until we kind of get into like a school rhythm and all of that. So anyway, today's video, like I said, is my mid-August knitting update. And I don't I think I have a whole lot of new stuff to share with you and I actually only have one thing that is almost finished but not even quite finished. So we'll just start with that and it feels a little weird because this is actually not a knit project but this is the Seascape Scallop Tank Top by For The Frills and it's made out of a Cascade Hampton yarn. So it's a cotton and linen blend, really nice yarn. I really like working with it. And it crochets up really nicely too. I really like the texture of this fabric. It's got a nice amount of sturdiness to it, but it does also have kind of that nicer, more summery material. So anyway, yeah, love that. And then you can see it's got these nice little scallops in the front and those are on the back as well. I decided to do the tie straps for the shoulder just because I am a little bit newer to crocheting. I didn't want to mess that up. So I decided to go with the easy option that has a little bit more wiggle room. And I really do love the way that that looks as well. So if you guys had watched my July knitting update, you probably heard me say that I was just going to use the yarn that I had already in my stash and I wasn't going to get any more it was if it ended up being a little cropped it ended up being a little cropped but <laughs> this ended up being very cropped and this is not quite my style so I am going to stop in at my local yarn store and see if they have one more skein otherwise I do have a white of the same yarn that I'm kind of thinking might look kind of cool if I did like um, what are those called a spike so that I kind of blended it in a little bit to this. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure on what I want to do, if I want to go with the blue or the white, but yeah. So this one's just kind of hanging in the balance for right now, but I do really like it. I think it's really nice. And I, if I don't get a whole lot of use out of it this year, I know I will next. So anyway, <laughs> that is my Seascape scallop tank top by For The Frills. And that one is a free pattern. So if you are curious about any of the patterns that I'm sharing today, I will link them all down below so you can check them out. Uh, then I have a sweater for my daughter Evelyn and I could have probably made a lot more progress on this but I just kind of was distracted by a lot of things. So this is Olive's Chunky Rib Sweater and it's by Pernille Larson. I'm knitting it out of a Bemidji Woolen Mills yarn. It's a bulky weight yarn that has been discontinued, but I really like it. It's surprisingly soft for a 100% wool and I think it'll be really nice for my daughter. So I am at a point now, it's worked from the bottom up and I need to make the sleeves yet. Otherwise I could attach the sleeves and just knit up the yoke. And I really, I need to read Pernille Larson's patterns a little bit more in advance because I think I have two projects now that are worked bottom up and then you attach sleeves, but 
I don't know why I didn't make the sleeves first and then do the body. So yeah, that would have probably saved a little bit of time, but yeah, I am at the point where I need to attach some sleeves, but I need to, yeah, make them first. So anyway, I hope that made sense. I don't know if it did, but it's really nice. I really like it. It's been a really quick knit, but I just need to go ahead and keep working on it, I guess. So anyway, <laughs> moving on. Next up is a pair of Cedar Bluff joggers by Alex Capshaw Taylor, and these are also for my daughter. They're out of a hand-dyed yarn by Yarn Bee, like the Hobby Lobby yarn, and I think it's really pretty. It's the Colorway Plush Blush, and I have one leg completely finished that is not going to show up all the way on camera, is it? I'm a little bit concerned that this might be a little bit too big for my daughter. I decided to make the size 6, and she's usually around a size 5 right now, but if they're too big, then she can grow into them, right? So yeah, I have one leg done, and then I'm a little bit over halfway on the second leg as well. I did notice that there's a difference in the dye lots, which you can maybe see it transitions right in here to from the first skein to the second, but I don't know. I just don't think it's gonna be a big enough deal for my daughter, so yeah, we're gonna call it good, and I'm not gonna be too concerned about difference in color. It does show up a little bit more on camera, I guess, but she moves so much that I don't think that once they're on her, anyone is going to be able to tell a difference. So I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna concern myself about it. It's not a big deal. So anyway, then the last thing for my daughter that I wanted to share with you is the Holly dress by Pernell Larson. And this is one that I have shown several times on this channel, but I did make a bit of progress on it. And I'm kind of at a point where I'm putting it up to Evie a lot to see how long I want to make it because I know that this one does grow quite a bit. I have knit it before and once you go to block it because there's so much lace, it gets really long. So anyway, this is where I am on this particular little dress. So this is made out of a Cascade Heritage yarn. I don't remember the colorway. It's just a really nice, pretty kind of pink and it's got a lot of lace on it. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it's got kind of holly leaf details all over, and then it has these little bobbles on the edge that are kind of like holly berries, and it's just really, really cute. I really like it. So I'm getting close to the point where I can go ahead and do the bodice, very similarly to the Olive's Chunky Rib, and I think I did not look at the pattern before I started filming this, but I think that this is another one that you actually knit the sleeves separately and then you attach them once you get to that bodice point. And I probably should have looked at that a little bit more because if that's the case, then I should have knit the sleeves first and put those on hold so that when I got to this point, I wouldn't have to put all of these stitches on hold. Does that make sense? I don't know if it does, but that's just how I like to do things. If it is something that's worked from the bottom up, I like to do the sleeves first and then go back and do this, but it is what it is. I think it's really pretty and I'm really excited to get this finished for Evie. So I have one more thing that I wanted to share with you and full disclosure, I did actually start this last month, but I didn't share it with you. So yeah, sorry about that, but I did want to wait until it was a little bit further along because this is going to be a how to knit video on my channel and I'm really excited about it. So it is a baby blanket. A lot of you guys have been asking for one and this one I'm just going to call Charlie's blanket because it's definitely inspired by my little boy. So this is what it looks like. It's out of a Malabrigo sock yarn in the colorway Fresco Iseco, and it has these little eyelet details all throughout, so they're just kind of in lines here, and my inspiration was obviously my little boy, 
And he is very straight laced. He likes things a very particular way and he kind of gets a little bit frustrated if that's not the way it is. So I wanted to do something very nice and crisp and clean, which is what this ended up being. So I'm getting really, really close. It's going to be a square blanket, so it's pretty big. And then I'm going to do a little border on the edge as well. So yeah, getting very, very close. And I'm hoping to have this how to knit video out by the end of the month. And like I said, my son's birthday was the, just this past weekend. I think I said that. Maybe I didn't. He just had a birthday. He's two. And so I wanted to have it out in August for him. So anyway, yeah, that is Charlie's blanket. And I'm so excited about this. He is too. Oh my goodness. He talks about his blankie a lot and tries to steal it, which has resulted in a lot of dropped stitches, but it's, it's cute the way he's just so excited. And he did pick out the yarn himself as well. So anyway, that is going to do it for my mid August knitting update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And once again, I'm sorry for the lack of videos. It's just going to be kind of a, an experimentational sort of time here as we figure out how all of the school schedules are going to work. So anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.